Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. This is video six on how to install Windows Server 2019 Core. So if you're ready for the video, let's get into it. All right guys, welcome back. So this is video six. We're gonna be installing Windows Server 2019 Core Edition on a VM and we're going to be configuring it. We're going to be setting up the computer name, IP address, just like how we did with any other server. And if you're ready for it, let's get into it. So the minimum server requirements for Windows Server 2019 core is 1.4 gigahertz processor with a 64 bit processor, right? Uh, the, min the minimum RAM requirements is 512 megs and the minimum hard drive requirements is 32 gigs. All right. So in our current topology that we're going to be utilizing today is we have our primary domain controller, obviously, because we have to authenticate to something to add it, right? And our secondary, just, just to have it, because I have the resources. And this is down here is going to be our Windows Server 2019 core. We're going to assign 192.168.50.205 with a slash 24-bit subnet, 4 gigabytes of RAM, and we're going to join it to the infosecpat.local domain. All right, so we're going to start from the very beginning. This is you know, not gonna be a clone of other machines. This is an actual brand new machine. So let's go to view. I wanna go to customize, see my library. So we're gonna actually install a brand new machine. So let's go to file, new, typical. This is, oh no, this is not fine. That's the Windows Server 2019. Actually, we can install this. Let's browse to 2019. Actually, let me go to downloads. My 2019 is right here. I'll use that one. That's fine. And if you don't know where to get the 2019 by now, you should. If you're at up to video six, you can just go on to Google, uh, put in Windows Server 2019 evaluation, and you can download it right from Microsoft. All right. So let's go to next. Um, you know what? I want to do. I want to. I want to do this. I want to install it later. That should be fine. Windows Server 2016, and I want to w win 2k19 dash core. Okay, and I'm not going to put it in here. I'm actually going to put it into a different directory where I have my my machines for this course. All right. So I like to try to keep it as organized as possible. Um, but sometimes, so it's 60 gigs I wanna put. I'm gonna customize the hardware. I'm gonna put two processors, that should be fine. I wanna bump it up to four gigs, right? That's what I put on my PowerPoint, right? Let's, uh, yeah, let's verify that. Four gigs, should be fine. It's core, so I wanna bridge it and I wanna take out the sound card i don't need this and i don't need a printer because there's no uh, printing going to that server all right so eliminate some resources so it's a little quicker all right so let's hit close here and finished let that go do its thing and it's going to come up over here we'll drag this into the course and we'll open it open up cd-rom not really disk but it should be fine with cd-rom we go to use this, use ISO image. We're gonna browse, go to downloads or wherever your image is for your Windows Server 2019. Hit okay. Power it up. We can X out of here now. So we just have this, so we have more real estate, okay? Hit enter, let it do its thing. And you know, it's pretty much the same process, but there's a, you know, a few little, few little differences. Um, when you choose the installation that we're going to be in, uh, choosing. But for the most part, it's a very f straightforward installation. So we'll, we'll do English, at least for me, because that's my language. Install now. And we'll give this a second to process. All right, so here we're going to do data center, but we're going to be doing data center evaluation, not desktop experience. Uh, the reason being get desktop experiences with the GUI with the graphical user interface. If you see down here, 
how you're going to be able to manage a core, a uh, Windows Server core, is you're going to manage with the command prompt or um, PowerShell, or you can remotely manage it with the new Windows Admin Center. Okay, and um, we'll get into configuring it right after this. So we'll hit next here. We'll choose, we'll license, we'll hit next. Choose install, we'll do it on the 60, 60 gig partition, hit next. We'll let this do its thing. Uh, once this goes through, has a couple percent, I'll pause the video and resume so we don't have to see this installation. There we go, so I'll pause it now and we'll resume once this is done. All right guys, cheers. All right, so that installation just finished and rebooted. <clears throat> Excuse me. And once the installation is done, we'll continue with this process. Let's give it a second. A couple of seconds. Oh, Saturday morning where I'm at. I'm beat. I'm really tired today for some reason. All right, so let this do its thing. Rebooting again. And I guess it's going to continue the installation once it boots. And we'll, um, let's go to 2019. Let's just log in here just to make sure we, um, we can test a few things once we join the computer to the domain. I was checking some stuff with DNS. Computers. We can take this out because this is no longer a part of this. So we can delete this, this metadata. Remove that. That's fine. Refresh. And then our DC02. We'll log into this bad boy. And we'll go to Active Directory. See if it removed. Yep, it removed. Cool deal. Just want to make sure everything is removed. All right, cool. So now this is the first prompt you come to. It says the user's password must be changed. And we can click in here and hit OK. OK. And then we'll put our fancy uh, local admin account. We'll confirm it, hit enter. OK, it has been changed, hit OK. And now this is it. This is Windows, you know, who am I? We are some crazy computer name administrator, right? So if I do an IP config, we can see that I'm getting IP addresses. I can ping Google. I'm able to get out to the internet. And the way we need to, CLS, and we, the way we have to configure this is you type in sconfig, and that'll come up with this um, server configuration, okay? So in here, we're gonna be configuring this. Let me bring up the um, this, but I wanna bring it up over here just because I need to remember information and I don't, I don't remember things. So first things first, what we'll do is we'll change the IP settings. All right, so that's number eight. And this is the IP address right now. We have to choose number one. That's the only adapter we have. We want to uh, set, uh, set network address, so one. We're gonna do static, S. My address will be 192. Come on. Dot 168. Dot 50. Dot 205. Okay. Hit enter, and we'll be 255. Dot 255. Dot 255. Dot zero. And then a gateway 192. Dot 168. Dot 50. Dot one. Okay. Enter. All right. So that's our IP addresses. Okay. So now we have to do the DNS server. So that's option two. And then what, what is our preferred DNS? Our preferred DNS will be our primary domain controller. So in this case, mine is 192.168.50.201. Okay, preferred DNS is set. Okay, perfect. And alternate would be 192.168.50.202. Enter. Okay, so that should be good. And we should be golden there. We can hit four to get to the main menu. All right, so we have our IP settings configured and let's go back to our Windows server, see if we can ping it. All right, because the firewall is on, we'll just give it a second. Yep, so we'll go finish configuring it and then we'll check it, all right? Let's go back here. So the, the next step is we need to 
what else can we do here? Let's let's go ahead and change the the work group to join a domain. All right. Let's just make sure our let's go back to eight. I want to make sure I did everything correctly. Uh, Fifty at two or five. Okay. Okay. All right. So next thing is we're gonna do the computer name. So let's do one. Um, we're gonna join it to a domain. All right. I know it's number two for the computer name, but you're gonna see what I'm doing. And the domain is infosec hat dot local. And then the domain user is gonna be infosec hat backslash administrator. And then the password. Okay, do you wanna join this computer? I mean, do you wanna change the computer name before? Yes. So the computer name will be win two k win two k nineteen dash core. Okay, and then the domain is infosec at backslash administrator. Okay, you want to restart. Now we can go back onto here. We'll check that in a minute. Um, let's just see if we have this computer in our in our computers. There we go. Okay. And now we should be able to ping it because <clears throat> if you remember what we did in the in the I think the first video when we first set it up or the second video I don't recall, but we set up a group policy for the firewall to remember to allow everything. So once this computer, once the core is up and running, all right, so it's up and running. So now we can do control delete. All right, so here is a, is a little tricky thing. So I'm gonna put just my, my password, right? I'm logged in. So now are we on the domain or are we on a local? And the way we can do that is who am I? So I'm logged in here locally, you see that? So I'm not on the domain, I'm not, you know join this it's on the domain but I'm not I'm logged in as the local user so let's log out of here log off and then we'll control delete again because I used to make this issue and that's why I want to point it out <clears throat> excuse me so enter your credentials so if you hit escape that I click in all right so now we're gonna go ahead and hit escape again. And now we're gonna to go to other user, all right? Hit other user, and the username is gonna be, admin, actually we're gonna do infosec, pat, backslash, administrator, and then the fancy, fancy password, okay? <clears throat> so now we are logged in as infosec pat on, on a domain, so if I do who am I now, now we can see that we're on infosecpat. Dot. <clears throat> now we do a set command. Now we can see that we're joined to this domain. Domain user. And if we can do use the, the command echo, I need to put the damn backlight on. Um, echo percent sign log on server percent sign. And we can see DC01. So now like, let's go back to DC01 and see if my theory worked. Now we can see if we ping it. Now we can ping it because we have that group policy enabled, all right? So let's go back and finish up some stuff. Let's do sconfig, bring up this bad boy. All right, so now we have, it's on a domain, we have a computer name, and if we wanna add a local administrator account, we can choose number three, and we can put, I don't know, Patrick. Okay, uh, okay, that's, that's weird. Let's try it again, number three. Enter local. It, it doesn't matter. I don't want to do that right now anyway. But so I'm just going down here. So configure, that's fine. Enabled. Number five. Let's do number five really quick. Change the um, the uh, update settings. I want to do it automatic. So I want to do A. Okay. Okay, perfect. It'll, it'll you know, install at 3 a.m. Perfecto. And now we're going to do number six. 
to install, we're going to do all A. So this is how you're going to install your updates for your Windows Server Core. Okay, so while that does its thing, we can go figure out what else is here. We can do remote desktop, so let's do number seven. And we're going to do E for enable. Okay, and then number one for um, only allow clients running RDP or remote desktop with um, network level authentication so it's more secure. So let's do choose number one. Okay, perfect. Enter. Now that's enabled. And that should be it. Let's, uh, let's go back and see how this is doing. This is going to search out for the, for the updates. Okay, so let's see if we can, yeah, that's pretty much how you configure your Windows Server core. It's very, very straightforward. And I just want to see what what uh um what what updates these these finds so let's uh let's do let's do something really quick i want to do a control delete and then let's do task manager okay and let's do more file new task cmd and i want to do let me see if i can ping out to google Okay, perfect. I just want to make sure I was getting on the internet for the updates. All right, so we can X out of here and we can close out the task manager. We'll just give this a second to do its thing. Let's just make sure it's on um, to the, uh, the secondary domain. It's on the primary domain. So what we're gonna do, I wanna move this to Florida servers. All right, so I want to start moving my, my servers into the servers OU. If you get this message, just go ahead and hit yes. Now our, now our um, server is in. Now if we refresh here, it should be gone. Boom, it should be in our servers OU. Refresh. Uh, refresh. Oh, no. Did I move it to the right thing? Let's see. It probably takes a second. Let me refresh this thing. All right, so we're in Florida, servers. All right, so that's on secondary DC. Let's go into primary. Let's refresh this again. Go to Florida, servers. All right, there we go. All right, so it just took a second. Um, all right, so this is, this will go out and do its updates. I don't want to like bore you guys looking at that. So that's pretty much it. That's how you go ahead and install and get this configured. It's on our domain. This is the first core server in our environment. And the reason why you would do Windows Server Core, let's bring this back over here. Um, this is our current infrastructure right now. The reason why you would do it just to have, you know, if you want to install Hyper-V, if you want to install like um, servers that don't have, don't need over a lot of overhead or more secure, right? Because there's a le less attack, like there's less like uh, attack surface for a hacker, for anyone like that. But it's just like, it's just easy. It's just like you have it there. It, it doesn't have, it's, it's a very low end server. It's like not low end, like cheap, but it's doesn't have much going on on the server. All right, so that's pretty much it. And we'll check one more time just for giggles. Yeah, this is gonna take a second. So that's pretty much it. I don't want to bore you guys and I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. Hopefully you guys are following, you know, step by step of these videos. Of course, we're building upon everything from our first domain, our second domain, our read only domain controller, our child domain to server core. You know, we're going to be building out on this network. So hopefully you guys are going to get some value out of this. So thank you again. Please like subscribe if it has have any value to you in your life. I really appreciate it. Until next time, stay tuned. Thank you, guys.